The Irish and Celtic Music Podcast, show number 419. Today's show is brought to you by Celtic Invasion Vacation. Welcome to the Irish and Celtic Music Podcast, helping you celebrate Celtic culture through music. My name is Mark Gunn. I am a Celtic musician and podcaster and your host of this show. And it is dedicated to the independent Celtic musicians. I want to ask you to support these artists, share the show with your friends. Find more episodes at CelticMusicPodcast.com and support us over on Patreon. Of course, one way you can support the podcast is by joining me on one of my Celtic Invasion vacations. Every year I take a small group of people on the relaxing adventure of a lifetime. We don't see everything in the area. In fact, we just stay in one location. And then we sort of explore the area. And we also experience some incredible music. Now, over the years, I have brought many musicians to join us in our little cottage to play music for us, or sometimes we'll go out and see them. It's been an amazing, fun experience. And in today's show, I'm going to play music from many of these artists, and I'll tell you a little bit about them. It's going to be a little bit of a different format, but let's get the show rolling. We kicked off the show with Fidgel from their album, Fidgel 3. 
That was Dinky's Reels. Now, Fidgel was a band that came to join us in the Celtic Invasion of Donegal. They uh, played some music for us, and then they even taught some of our group dance. I, I got to listen mostly because I was cooking at the time. But <laughs> it was a fantastic experience, and uh, we were very happy to have them join us. Now, sadly, the band is no longer together, but they, I know members of the band have started new bands. I'll try to find links to some of those and post them in the show notes here at the podcast. Now, the next band that we have up is Vicky Swan and Johnny Dyer. Now, if you've been listening to this podcast for any period of time, you probably heard the names Vicky Swan and Johnny Dyer. That's because I've had them on the show since the very beginning. I found them on mp3.com as part of a band called Muckle They later became Serious Kitchen, and they've continued on creating music after they, the Serious Kitchen split up. These two of the, the three members, they kept creating music, and it's continually gotten better and better. And I've been so pleased to have them. On the Celtic Invasion of Wales, I was like, hey, you're in the area. Can you uh, drop by, and would you like to play some music for us? And they were like, yes, we would love to meet you in person. And <laughs> they drove all the way to our, our little cottage in Wales. We had dinner. They hung out. It was a beautiful, beautiful time. Uh, it was a honor and joy to uh, spend some time with them. Now, we're going to start off from their last album. This is called Recessional, Speed the Plow, and Erithway Green. And then I'm going to play a track called Gallows Tree from their brand new album, 12 Months and a Day. And of course, uh, the show is a bit different. I'm going to play a couple tracks from each band as they come around. So here is Vicky Swan and Johnny Dyer. Thank you. 
There was no west, there was no east, no star broad for I to see. And Norman spurred his jaded beast, hard by the terrible gallows tree. A Norman haste across this waste, for something seems to follow me. Cheer up, dear Maud, but thanks be God. We now have passed the gallows tree. He kissed her lip, that spur and whip, and fast they fled across the lee. But vain the heel and Rowell steel, for something leaped from the gallows tree. Give me your cloak, your knightly cloak. That wrapped you off beyond the sea. The wind is bold, my bones are old, and I am cold on the gallows tree. Oh, holy God, oh dearest Maud, quick, quick, some prayers, the best that can be. A bony hand, my neck has spanned, and tears my nightly cloak from me. By your knee, ten summers burst on me a curse, and I'm a thirst on the gallows tree. Oh, Maud, my love, my loving wife, have you no prayer to set us free? My belt unclasps, a demon grasps, and drags my wine flask from my knee. Give me your bride. Your bonny bride that left her nest with you to flee. Oh, she hath flown to be my own, for I'm alone on the gallows tree. Cling closer, more and trust in God. Cling close, oh heaven, she slips from me. A prayer and a groan, and he alone. Rode on that night from the gallows tree. Yep. No east, no star abroad for I to see. And Norman spurred his jaded beast, hot by the terrible gallows tree. Yep. So this year on the Celtic Invasion of Dingle, I decided to invite Jerry O'Byrne to come perform for us. Now, he is living in Dingle uh, right now. He's been a part of this podcast for a long time. Sometime around 2006 or seven, I forget when exactly, uh, Andy M. Stewart came touring through Austin, Texas. I actually helped 
make that show happen. He brought a guitarist, Jerry O'Byrne, and they uh, put on a show. And, uh, you know, Andy M. Stewart, he's sort of a legend in uh, Scottish Celtic music community. But the highlight for the show was Jerry O'Byrne. He played just a couple songs and they just blew me away. I was so impressed by him. I immediately approached him after the show and said, hey, I'm on a pod- I have a podcast. I would love to get your music on the show. And I played him a few times. And uh, since then, <laughs> the guy is like everywhere. He produces albums. He records with a whole bunch of musicians. He's just, he's very prolific. And of course, now he's living in Dingle. And in fact, I have a an interview that I did with him that'll be coming out on the Pub Songs podcast on a later date. I will try to get that out as soon as possible. But it was such a incredible experience. I was so pleased to finally meet him for the first time in like a decade. And I uh, got to see him perform uh, a few times, including in our cottage with uh, Murren Nick Auli, who he brought in to play, add some sessioning for us. Yeah, we had a little Irish session. I'll tell you a little bit more about it in a moment. But in the meantime, we're going to kick it off with a track by Jerry O'Byrne and Rosie Shipley from their album, Yesterday I Saw the Earth Beautiful. It's called O'Carolyn's Concerto. Then, from his brand new album, Swimming with Horses, is The Last King of Fjellnacht. And uh, I'm really looking forward to sharing this interview because he talks a little bit about it. It's really fantastic. Try to catch 
catch the feeling, the momentum of the moment. A moment of music, oh, say, who could it be? He would ordinarily have liked to hear the blackbird, but the song of the raven won him over eventually. Singing all alone in the whistling breeze. There'll be flowers on the water when the last king leaves forever. In a moment of music, we'll be waving from the key. While the blackbird and the raven watch together, the last king of Fiona will sail away to sea, and he. He'll be singing all alone in the whistling breeze. You know, there are many ways to support the Irish and Celtic Music Podcast. You can make a donation through our website, or you can buy a bumper sticker to share your sport. You can buy an Irish and Celtic Music Podcast t-shirt, or get the Sainted Song Hinger Collection to tell the world you support Celtic culture through music. But the best way is to become a patron of the podcast. The show exists because of your kind patronage, and you can make a pledge of a dollar or more per episode and cap how much you want to spend each month. Your generosity funds the creation, promotion, and production of the show. It allows us to attract new listeners and to help our community grow. Become a patron of the podcast at patreon.com forward slash Celtic Podcast. I want to thank our newest patrons, Brian M., Jennifer, Robin, Joyce, Rebecca H., Bass Pipes, and Murray F. Thank you so much for all your generous support. 